this. So basically the most, what I can make the most simple thing for your plants in that plant care is this analogy right here where you have a fat guy and a skinny guy. You guys get those two archetypes. Not making judgments either way. <laughs> well, in the skinny guy category, I think mostly. It's like a serious judgment, but basically you got two things happening. One is a fat kind of growth. So think of a chubby baby then that baby starts toddling. When it starts standing up and moving around, it turns into a skinny kind of guy, right? But then that kid, you know, goes through a little fatter phase uh, as they start to grow up. Uh, sixth grade, actually, you go through a little chubby phase. Then as you grow up further, you turn into a teenager, you go through a little skinny phase. And all on throughout our life, right? We kind of go through these phases of what we're doing as human beings, right? You see a skinny baby and say skinny the whole time, it's probably not going to develop well into its next stage of life. And if you see a baby and it stays fat and it stays fat the whole way through, it's probably not going to develop as well into its next stage of life. So this natural kind of wave that we go through, fat, skinny, fat, skinny, fat, skinny, and oscillation is the health of nature. And it is, you know, it's not, it's not obese one way or like anorexic the other but it's this balance that we get between which makes this middle guy here. So every stage of your life, you're in peak physical condition. Because you got fat when you're supposed to, and then you got skinny when you're supposed to. And that enables your body to reproduce better and to be in every stage better. Same thing in plants. You'll see them go through a fat where they're growing lots of leaf stage, and then they'll go through a skinny where they branch out stage. And anyone who watches plants long enough, even with that information, you'll see it. Fat, skinny, fat, skinny, as the tree grows. And it goes through these kind of stages, just like we do as humans. And any animal does. That's the general fat, skinny, fat, skinny. And there's two formulas for those guys. And that's basically what we're doing is oscillating our plant back and forth between that. The next major part of the growth stage is this one here. That in addition to our fat skinny oscillation that we go through, because that's just life, we also go through this radical shift of being a juvenile or an adolescent, like or, or juvenile kid. Then going into like adolescence, where we start to go through the reproductive cycle through um, puberty, that whole way up until we then reach where we're kind of later in life, where in the very beginning of puberty, we don't necessarily want to get pregnant right away, even though our body has gone that way. Like a 12 year old or even seven or eight these days could get pregnant. It's best for her body to wait until 25, you know, when, when your body is like most stable for childbirth, where you are no longer a child growing but you are actually now an adult and ready to carry, but you're still in that really um, fertile part of your life. And it's the, it's the easiest on your body to actually have childbirth during that time. Whereas having childbirth as a keiki, a kid, is very challenging, right? But recognizing these stages where we go from kids that cannot reproduce into where we can reproduce into then this stable adulthood. And this part right here is the hardest on us. Sometimes it's hard to grow as a kid, you know, you get malnutrition or something like that. But this part here, we have all kinds of chemical imbalances in our body, which expresses as like acne or skin disease or whatever the heck you get as a teenager because your body was stressed during that time. And same happens in plants. You can get them to grow really big leaves and stuff in the beginning, but then maybe it doesn't convert over to flower very well. And then you subsequently you don't get fruit. And it's that puberty, this recognition of this period in each plant. And certain plants go through it a few times, and certain plants go through it like once a season. And some of them go through it like once in their life. But this can happen on regular cycle. For women, in a certain sense, it's happening every 28 days for them. They're going through as not not as not as um, dramatic as going from keiki to an adult. 
but you're going through this reproductive period where your body is going through this cycle. And there's probably an analog in men too, but it's less obvious. So studying women and looking at female reproductive health is what natural farming recognizes. It tries to aid in that process, helping make this female rep reproduction as easy as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I've never ever heard that concept before. It's great. So going here in your early stage, you want to put out leaf. This is kind of more analogous to the fat guy. This skinny, this early thing, you want a chubby baby. Powerlifting baby. <laughs> but you want this strong baby to come out. So that that in, entire is kind of the fat guy formula. You want to make a fat baby. Then once we're getting over to this side, on this, like in the middle here, we actually have a changeover formula, which is this, this transition, it's this puberty formula that we have, where it really focuses on phosphoric acid and sour foods. And then as you're getting over here, this is a predominantly, the pregnancy is predominantly a calcium based thing, calcium and phosphates and phosphorus on this side. So, that's the main difference between kind of the formulas. There's there's uh, three basic formulas here, and they're right at the bottom. There's a fat, there's a skinny, and there's a puberty. So, so these three formulas um, are the fat, skinny, and puberty, which are you know they're, they're fairly similar to each other, but what they're focusing on is different. And like I said, when you are in the early kind of beginning. That there's a fat skinny fat skinny fat skinny but um, in the beginning of your plant it's a little bit more fat what's PA I'm sorry phosphoric acid yeah sorry I didn't I so that's out of the core nine that I was or the vital nine that I was talking about but um, but there are other recipes to really enhance this and I encourage you to check those out um, but in general um, the healthier your soil gets, the less important those types of things become. So these are the three formulas. You'll see they're, they're fairly similar in terms of they have, all have food, medicine, uh, cleanser. Then they'll go into other things, so, like some will have yeast in it, calcium phosphate, fuel, and can of police. Um, the skinny, it really focuses on the calcium, calcium phosphate. Also, phosphoric acid in seawater. Anytime you're using um, seawater, if you also use calciums with it, it really helps. Like, so all these things kind of work synergistically with each other too. And then the puberty focuses on phosphoric acid and calcium phosphate and really drops down the amount of can of fuel. But basically all that fits into this formula on the next page, this, this here. <laughs> So like I said, you start with this baby, it goes fat, skinny, fat, skinny as it's going up. And I think I said chubby and skinny. I like chubby, chubby, chubby. Chubby, chubby. Chubby bunny. Um, so, but this middle stage here is the changeover. So you're kind of going chubby, chubby, chubby. But it, and when you think of your plant, like I said, you don't want them to get pregnant right away, right? So what happens in your plant is it starts going through, but it's not even flowering yet. It's like entering into its changeover period and, and cannabis is starting to differentiate, but it's not really flowering yet, right? You know, you see this, like the, the, the organs are starting to grow, right? Hair comes out on humans, but but it's getting ready for, for that part, but it's not quite ready to like mate yet. So this is a recognition in your plants too of it starting to get re reproductive in your plant. But you're not really going to get, actually get pregnant until the end of this changeover period. Which this whole period here is like puberty, going through that awkward stage in your life where you're growing fast and your whole body is transforming. And that's same in the plant, it's getting ready to go from growing to now fruiting or putting up flowering and fruiting of that direction. So what you can do is, when does it go into this reproductive period, is basically we can take the growth length of your plant. So say it's 100, uh, 270 days, I think, which is tarot. Put 
day 270 here. Divide that in half. You get right here. 270 and half is like 100. 35. Should pick some numbers I know. Then a third of the plant's life is right here. So one third of that of, I think it's 90. 270, yeah, it's 90 days. 270 divided by 3 is 90. It's 27 divided by 3, 9. So this is 90 days and then 270. What's 27 divided by 3? Or by, by 2, actually. Wait, no, sorry, that's times. <laughs> yeah, anyway. It should be easy, I should memorize this one. But. but that gives you your date here. 135. 135, okay. Yeah, sorry. 135 and 90 days. And you can draw this schedule out for a lot of plants. Some go through this every two weeks or so. So you gotta know your plant and know how to adjust your cycle for it and what's happening. But basically, if you know this in, a, in an annual type crop that's going to go through and you're going to get fruit or flower off it on this side, this is the schedule you want to put. Like, okay, so springtime starts growing and wintertime harvest or whenever your harvest season is. This is your end date. And then this here is one third and half. And those are your key points of when puberty is occurring. And the most important time to attend to your crop is right here. Right as I'm about to enter puberty, if I get the changeover and the calcium phosphates and the phosphoric acid, those sours that I need, it helps the plant go from vegetative growth to now transferring that energy into fruiting the most. Imagine you're going into puberty and you get this boost of like stuff you need for puberty and all of a sudden it relieves all that awkward shit happening in your body. It eases you in. Do you think you're gonna have a better childbirth or someone that's like, you know, doesn't have that? They might miscarry their first kid or something if you didn't have the right nutrition as you were starting to be a teenager. Most of the vital time to, to do it is right here. Second most vital time is kind of after harvest and to retreat your soil with IMO before it goes silent and comes back around. And right at the end, putting IMOs and even treating your plant right before harvest with just a, a formula to enhance it. But those two times are what you got. Soil prep on this side. Chubby, skinny, chubby, skinny. So adjusting my chubby and skinny so that I stay in tandem with my plant. Then change overing. Then going through chubby, skinny again, but with more emphasis on this side on the skinny part. More emphasis on this side on the chubby part. Changing those formulas. giving exactly what your plant needs. And this is also true for pigs and chickens and all kinds of things that are going through this all the time. You can see whether do they need more reproductive, skinny kind of stuff, or whether they need more growth and like chubby kind of stuff. Imagine all your plants. In. Once your plant is past its first puberty and it's you know, in a cycle of fruiting, um, do you continue to do the changeover solution into its, um, its fruiting phase? Or is there like an alternating solution for that, that phase of growing the fruit? I hear you going fat skinny, fat skinny. So it's the same as the, the vegetative and then back and forth between. Yep. Because okay. yep. you can think of one growth as growing like that and the next growth is growing out. And that changeover period is what it means to get into that, to take basically things that it was growing that way before and then take that energy and put it now into its reproductive period. Like it's a complete change from carbohydrates to sugars. And that calcium is the transporter that moves stuff from the tips where it grew this great beautiful leaf, but it needs to move all that into that fruit 
and change it from a carb where it's safe to a sugar where now it's sweet and unsafe. That's why fruits are like have peels or whatever, make, keep that sugar there. That sugar when it falls would drop, make the microbes happy and then hopefully sprout that seed with its own fermented plant juice on the ground. So that's like your whole cycle of life. <laughs> What's YST? Yeast. Can you look yeast? I'll look that. They, they are experts at yeast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I should include yeast, but um, I, I don't really use yeast that much. It naturally occurs for, for me, for my purposes here. So that, those are basically the whole way through these. Um, of, you know, both soil prep and annual crop, how to use these things. And it's just a matter of formulating and then tuning into your crop, making different FPJs to get different medicinal values, making different tinctures to get different medicinal crop, you know, things.